Hello, this is a question from Nora in Toronto. Every time we fight, my husband and I end up bringing up all kinds of old, dirty laundry. How can we fight better? Great question, Nora. I'm happy that you mentioned that it is dirty laundry, right? Look, we call this kitchen sinking, right? Is that you start to pile up all the dirty dishes on top of each other in the sink to such an extent that you can't clean any. You start to bring up all the old grievances, everything that your partner has done to you for the last five years, one after the other, to such an extent that you don't even know what you're fighting about anymore because there is zero focus to the conversation because it began with the fact that he came in late and then it continued with the last time he was late and then it continued with what his mother told you and then it continued with what happened to your ex-boyfriend and then it continued with what his boss also said to him and that everybody else agrees with you and then we bring in all the troops and now we we have such a full kitchen sink that there is absolutely no way to have a single conversation. And then, if you really want to push it a step further, you're no longer even just talking about what he did, but you tell him that he deserves to be at the bottom of the pile of these dirty dishes because, and now become the character assassinations, let's come up with the big epithets that describe the kind of person that he is and why he deserves exactly all the shit that's happened to him and why it's even a miracle that you're still here with him because nobody else would take that kind of shit. Did I describe it well, Nora? <laughs> it's really, you know, there's variations on this theme, but how can you fight better? The most important thing, of course, is stick to the one thing that you're talking about. Don't think that because you bring in other times when it happened or other issues or other people who agree with these issues that you're going to get your cause to advance. You're not going to be clearer. All you're going to do is produce defensiveness because nobody can tolerate such an onslaught, such an amount of attack. So one way that you can fight better, that you can communicate more effectively, is to stick to the point. But not sticking to the point by drilling it into him how a terrible person he is and how this is such an awful thing to do, but also primarily what effect it has on you, simply how you feel. Are you able to express your experience at the hand of your partner without having to launch into a full-blown critique of who your partner is as a person? It's that fundamental distinction. Now, you're going to say maybe, but even when I tell him how I feel, he doesn't really care. And that may be so, and so he needs to learn how to develop kindness, compassion, empathy, understanding, all of that. But nevertheless, if you ask me what you can do differently, I can't promise you it will always work, but I can promise you that if you do the kitchen sink inversion, it will always fail. So point number one, stick to the issue at hand. Don't start piling up all the dirty dishes that have nothing to do with the specific thing that you're talking about right now. Number two, focus on the behavior and not on the character. Focus on what he did, not on who he is or on how what he did is a proof of the kind of person he is, which of course isn't a good thing. A behavior describes something a person has done. That doesn't mean that it encapsulates the entire identity of who that person is. Number three, to fine tune this. If you can convey to your partner that you like the person even though you don't like that behavior, then you're giving him something dignified to hold on to, from which he can then take responsibility for what he has done that may have been hurtful or egregious even. Focus on what you feel and on your experience, rather than make a list of the character flaws of your partner. The majority of fights all take place in the same form within a couple. And you will notice that the form is way more important than the content. At some point, it doesn't matter if it's money, your mother-in-law, or the children, or sex. The fights will all look alike because the form precedes the content. And what really hurts is not the specific item, but is the feeling that the other person doesn't care, that you don't matter, that you're not important, that you were overlooked. Those relational hurts are what is at stake in many of your fights, Nora. So what to do when you are tempted 
to sink into kitchen sinking, to play with the words, right? At the moment you're about to make the list of all what is wrong with your partner is the very moment where you want to think about all the things that he or she actually does so that you hold the bigger picture of the good of that person, of what you actually like of that person, of all the things which you actually appreciate about that person, because it is that which will buttress you against the onslaught of negativity. So at the moment you want to start talking about the times when he didn't show up and the times when you were left waiting and the times when you felt alone and the times when you felt misunderstood, but there is also the times when he actually was there for you and the times when he surprised you and the times when he took care of you and all that larger picture of the person is what you want to have available at the very moment when you want to dive deep into the negativity because it creates a contrast and it holds for you a more complex, a more holistic image of your partner that prevents you from piling up the dirty dishes. Thank you.